specifically the parabola. And I want to mention, this is our own parabola. We'll talk about it first. Y equals X minus H squared, so the X would wind up squared, plus K. We've seen this for a long time now. For example, Y equals X plus 2 squared plus 7. We would recognize that as a vertical parabola. Y equals, now remember guys, and I think this is what will help you with this. All that stuff we just did on chapter 3 were Y or F of X equals. So those were the upright parabolas, the function parabolas. So if it's y to the first, x to the second, that's your old timey parabola, you know, the one we're used to, the vertical parabola. So shift it back to and up seven. It's positive in front, so it's upright. So that would be a sketch of that parabola. Now, uh, one more time. Let's do y equals, let's put a coefficient, maybe negative two, x minus one squared minus three. Okay, I recognize it's a parabola because y is to the first, x would be squared if it expanded. This shifts it over one and down three. The vertex is positive one, negative three. The negative sign flips it upside down and the coefficient two makes it a little skinnier. Stretches it vertically. Okay, for some reason, and I don't know why, in chapter six, the definition, so if you're reading Math Excel's explanation, Math Excel is always programmed to do the book's language, goes along with the book. In chapter six, they switch the vertical, the vertical shift, they bring it over to the left-hand side. So I wanted you to see that this and this were the same thing, but it's just gonna mess with our brain a little bit. We'll have to get used to it. Um, this is the way we did it back in chapter two and three. Y equals, and we had the vertical shift over to the right side, everything on the right side. In chapter six, the book brought this K value over to the left and made it Y, you know, switching it over, minus K equals. So these are equivalent statements, but just a different way the book expresses that chapter. I don't like this because I'm, I just got used to that. So I always throw it back across the line and write it the way I want it. But I wanted you to know when you when you read Math Excel's explanation, that may be throwing you a little loop there. So let's say your problem on Math Excel might say y plus two equals x minus three squared. That would be the new way it would throw that problem at you. If you don't want to see it that way, just first thing, throw the two across the line. Okay, that's the way I'm used to looking at it. So the, the vertex is positive three, negative two, like so. All right, so what if it's not in this nice form like this? I wanted to remind you the vertex formula. If it's y equals, let's say, two x squared minus three x plus four, that's not in that nice condensed form where you can see the vertex. So I could either complete the square, we had a way of doing that, but uh, it was so much easier just to use the vertex formula. Negative b over 2a. Now remember Math Excel, when we did this chapter, it loved that completing the square method, and that's what it recommended in the uh, show me the example. But um, the shortcut was the vertex formula. Negative b over 2a, and then f of negative b over 2a. So that means if it's in this standard form, that's your a, b, and c of the quadratic. So you do the opposite of b over two times a. So the vertex is at three fourths. And then I, know, I just made that up, I shouldn't have. And then plug in three fourths in for x. So we would have to work that out. Two times three fourths squared minus three times three fourths plus four. So you can plug that in your calculator or work through with the fractions, but that would give you the second part of your vertex. Remember, vertex is negative b over 2a. That's your x shift. And then to find your y shift, you have to plug that back in for the x's and work it out. All right, any questions on that? I know it to be an upright parabola that's positive, the leading coefficient a little skinnier because of the two. All right, now, now we're going to talk
talk about this horizontal parabola. I wanted to remind you about the vertical parabola. All the rules apply for that, but they're in reverse because X and Y switch places. You know, the, the basic vertical parabola was Y equals X squared. That's your most basic upright vertical parabola. The horizontal parabola is X equals Y squared. So everything about X and Y just change places. It's just switch places. So everything that we just said about how to find the vertex also switches places. So you're going to have to think backwards on this for this in reference to the X and the Y. All right, so let's look at it. Okay, so X equals, if X is to the first and Y is to the second, that's what tells me that I'm looking at a horizontal or sideways parabola. And what helps my brain with this is the grouping here has a Y with it, so I know this to be the Y shift. Whatever is grouped in the parentheses with the, with the Y, just like when it was grouped with the X, it was the X shift. Now it's grouped with the Y, so that's the Y shift. And the groupings, anything in parentheses, we've kind of been trained, it changes signs, but that's because there's a negative in the formula. So it would be the opposite sign, that's your Y shift, then the number on the end, that will be your X shift. So H is still the X shift, and then that K is the Y shift. It's just written in a little different ordering, uh, change of uh, orientation with the X and the Y. Again, math Excel in the book, like the H, the, the other shift, brought over, but this means the same as that. I recommend, if you have a problem that says X minus two equals Y plus three squared, that's the way it would come at you. I would throw this two across the line and isolate my X. Okay, then I would determine that because this is grouped with the Y, that that is the Y shift, in parentheses, so I change it to a negative 3. Again, because it's grouped on Y, Y shift, negative 3. And then this, do not change its sign, is 2. So that would be the vertex of your parabola. Then you'd be asked to sketch that graph on some of your problems. So we'll find that vertex over 2, down 3. Um, you know how sometimes you have to graph and pick up the graphing tools? You'll pick up the sideways parabola. Pick up that tool, dot in your vertex, and then it makes you pick one other point so you'll know how wide to make it to get your curve in there. So that point is random. It's whatever point you want to pick, kind of like doing a T table. You'll need to pick a second point to give it something to aim for. I know because it's positive that it's opening to the right. I haven't mentioned that, but if it's negative, it flips it. Just like the other one was flipped upside down, this is flipped backwards you have a negative sign here, okay? But normally if it's positive, it's that sideways parabola. So I need to find something over here to give it something to aim for. So you can plug in a Y value or an X value. It'll be easier though to plug in for a Y because then I can just do that arithmetic. If I plug in for X, I'll have to do the equation solving. So I probably want to plug something in for Y. Maybe like Y is zero and see what happens. So plugging in y is 0, 0 plus 3 squared plus 2. 3 squared plus 2 is 11. If that won't fit on your graph, I can't remember if it goes past 10, some graphs do and some graphs don't. If that won't fit, then I need to pick a different number, find something that will fit on your graph. But 11, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 0 draw that thing, just one other point to give it something to aim for. Again, uh, maybe I should pick uh, another number, maybe closer to the vertex, like negative 2. Plug that in for y, negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. This is a much nicer number, right? 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So another point I could have used is um, over 3 is down 2. I don't know that I drew it in there perfectly, but it should get over 3 is down 2 would also be on that curve. Right, any questions on that? Okay, so 
let's look at some of the homework problems from 6-1. Anybody have a particular one you've already looked at that you have a question about? 